Good evening and welcome to this very special interview. It's with the British Prime Minister, David Cameron. Uh, just 43 years old, the youngest British Prime Minister in 198 years. I'm not going to ask him what it feels like mixing around with all of us in India. But uh, he's only just moved into Downing Street, 10 Downing Street, from Notting Hill Gate or North Kensington. We had a family home in, in North Kensington. North Kensington. And, What's uh, it like, Downing Street? What was the move like? Well, it's a big change because you're used to living at home with your family and then right. suddenly you're living above the office. So it is a big change and right. uh, it doesn't quite feel like home. But uh, I'm sure, I hope we'll get used to it. But you, you had to kind of do any fixtures and fittings, like change the kitchen furniture? So far, kitchen? hardly anything. But there's, uh, there's number 10 Downing Street and there's number 11 Downing Street. Right. And we start living above number 10 and we right. hope to move above number 11 where we're okay. making some changes to the, the flat because we've got a new baby on the way. And, yes, uh, yes. So we need to uh, make some preparations. Right. So it's getting back to making a home again. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. good fun, actually. It is, although you're very close to the office. So when you walk out of your... Uh, front room and you, you go down the stairs and you suddenly there's what everyone working and computers well it's a short trip to work <laughs> but it makes it feel less like home because you're you're yeah. on top of the office yeah yeah well you can get used to staying at 10 Downing Street because a young man and you're going to be re-elected right well we've just had an election yes. where we didn't quite my party didn't quite, quite win an overall no. majority so we yes. formed this coalition government which yes. you're used to in India this is right. very new for us right but it's working well we have yes. good relationships a good partnership and it means that we have majorities in, in both our upper house and our lower house. Right. We're able to get things done and we can look to the long term. Did you and have to compromise a lot? We had to make some compromises. Right. Coalition involves compromise. Like one. Name one that hurt a bit. Um, there's some of the policies on, on uh, tax and uh, crime, some things we had to change. Well, but uh, I like to think we have a lot of conservative policies we are producing, right. which are very important, right. uh, particularly on getting our deficit under control, getting right. our economy growing again, making Britain one of making those enterprising, change. making change, but In making fact, us an enterprising country again. What's your stand on Kashmir? Well, we want, obviously, India and Pakistan to have uh, good relations and to have good dialogue and to discuss uh, and to settle these issues between them. It right. is for, for India and Pakistan to do that. Right. But um, you don't intend to mediate and you don't, you think this is India's issue? I, I don't think, frankly, Britain is in a great place to mediate <laughs> uh, on this issue. And uh, we welcome the fact that India and Pakistan have, have had uh, more contacts, and, uh, but it is, for, it is for you to decide. So I would say that's the first change from what Miliband said and what uh, Cook said. Would you call that a change? Well, I, I don't seek to draw dividing lines and, and divisions. I will handle this relationship yeah. and the important issues in the way that I think right. I, I came to India as one of the first yeah. trips I made as leader of the opposition yeah. back in 2006 because I think there's a real opportunity yeah. for Britain and India to have a really strong partnership yeah. for the future. Of course, we have this great relationship going into the past and yeah. shared history and yes. language and culture, but it's the future I'm interested in yes. where I think for our economies there's so much we can do together. There are so many global issues like security. climate change and security. Yes. We should be working together. Yes. And I think that that is what this opportunity is about. So I, that's why as I've only been Prime Minister for a few months, but I wanted to come to India uh, as fast as I could to make the case for this relationship. I'll tell you another change uh, yes. which, which you've just that you brought out, you came to India because Obama first went to China, then he's coming to India. Gordon Brown first went to China, then came to India. You've come to India before China. Is that part of the special relationship? Well, the special relationship is special because of our country's history and what I hope we're going to do for the, the future. future. But I, I don't think people should read too much into, you know, if a country like Britain, it shouldn't be India or China. Or, right. you know, we have to have relationships with all countries, but right. with India, as we are two democracies, but as we believe in the rule of law. Signal well, I, I, well, I've come and uh, <laughs> I hope that uh, it is received positively. the Chinese. I, I can... But you've come here first, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. And also bringing with me, I think, which is important, uh, yeah, a plane huge. full of not just business leaders, but right. some of Britain's best business leaders, right. but also leaders of our top museums, great right. sporting stars, people involved in the cultural industries. Right. Because I think this relationship, yes, it's about business, but it's also about defense and security and culture and sport. And it's also a relationship between the British people and Indian people.